Hello everyone, describing photos in another language can be very difficult. So today I'm going to show you how to talk about the different areas in the photo and also about what's happening in the photo. So let's take a look. So when we want to talk about things in the distance or things that are far, we could say something like in the background, we can see the sky. So we often use the word background for photos and notice the um, preposition, which is in. So in the background, we can see the sky. Then next, um, if we want to talk about something at the front of the picture, we often say in the foreground. So you might have heard the word background before, but perhaps this is the first time you're hearing the word foreground, but we can say also in the foreground, there is a woman standing on a cliff. So if you notice before I said, we can see the sky. So we could also say we can see a woman standing on a cliff, but we can also say there is a woman standing on the cliff. So both of those phrases would sound natural when talking about a photo. Next, um, if we want to talk about things uh, on the right, then we simply say that. We say on the right or on the right side, there is the ocean. So on the right or on the right side is the same meaning. Um, and again, we can just say there is the ocean. And again, notice the preposition. So this time it's on the right side, not in the right side or at the right side, it's on the right side. And then background and foreground is in. And same for the other side, we can say on the left or on the left side, there is a cliff. So if you're confused about the ocean, a cliff, um, usually we'd just say, you know, I see a cliff or a woman, but ocean is just um, a word that's a bit of exception where we often say the ocean because it's like one big thing. Then if we want to say more about this woman, um, for photos, we usually use present continuous. So for example, we could say the woman is wearing a coat and looking out over the ocean. So because pictures are kind of frozen in time, it's almost like the actions are happening now. So we usually use a uh, present continuous when talking about actions in photos or things that people are doing in photos. So the woman is wearing a coat and looking out over the ocean. So looking out over um, is might be a bit confusing, but this is um, the expression we use when somebody is high up and they're looking down across a landscape or over a view. Okay, so that's enough for that photo. Let's take a look at another photo so we can see some more ways to talk about different parts of the photo and also the things that we see in the photo. Here is our next photo. And to begin explaining a situation, we can say something like here, we can see a marketplace. And then if we look at some different positions that we didn't see last time, then we could say something like in the top right, there are some clothes hanging on a rack. So last time we had on the right or on the right side, but here, if we're focusing at the corner, we can say in the top right, there are some clothes hanging on a rack. And if we look at the opposite corner, then we could say in the bottom left or in the bottom left corner, there are some flowers. So again, just notice the preposition. We've got in the top right and in the bottom left. Um, then if we want to talk about the middle of the photo, then we can say in the center, or you could also say in the middle, there is 
a woman speaking to a teenager. And again, like last time, it's good to use present continuous if we're talking about things that people are doing in photos. Then if we want to talk about this area on the right side, so in the last picture, we used the expression on the right side, but if we want to um, emphasize or if we want to point out that it's something close to the edge, so something all the way on the right, then we can use the word on the far right. So this is something close to the edge. On the far right, there is a woman looking around the market. And of course, if she were on the other side, then we would say on the far left. Or as I said a moment ago, uh, all the way over on the left. But that's quite long, so it's easier to just remember on the far right or on the far left. But if we were looking at the edge of the photo um, at the bottom or at the top, then we don't use the word far. So we wouldn't say um, at the far bottom or anything like that. That's wrong. So don't remember that. We would say at the very bottom. So here, for example, at the very bottom, we can see a concrete floor. So this woman is standing on a concrete floor. So same for the top, we would say at the very top. So if we were talking about, for example, these baskets hanging here, we could say um, at the very top, there are baskets hanging uh, in the photo. So yeah, just remember far right, far left, very bottom, very top, and pay attention to the prepositions. So at and on in so it's good to take notes of these things and that's enough for this photo so let's take a look at a, another photo and next time um, instead of focusing so much on the areas of the photo going to have a little more at how to explain things that are happening in the photo Okay, so here is our last photo for this video. And after this, we'll have a look at some general rules and uh, revise or remember some of the things we've learned in this video. But uh, first, let's take a look at this one. So um, to start explaining this photo, we could say something like, in this photo, there is what looks like an audience. Um, so here I used what looks like because we don't necessarily know it's an audience. If you are very sure, you could say there is an audience, but you know, this could be a protest or a riot or a party. Um, it could be different situations, but it looks like an audience. So you could say this looks like an audience or you could say in this photo there is what looks like an audience. So then if we're still guessing about what is happening we can say something like perhaps this is a concert or perhaps this is a gig. So gig is a word that you might not learn in textbooks but it's a word that native speakers use all the time so I wanted to make sure you know this word. So a gig means the same as a concert, but we wouldn't use it for something like a classical concert, but any kind of pop music, rock music, hip hop music, anything like that, we would usually just say gig. So perhaps this is a gig. Um, then if we start talking about how people are feeling in this situation, we could say something like, everyone looks very excited. You know, it looks like there's a lot of energy here. Yeah, everyone looks very excited. And if we want to talk about particular people, but we don't want to use the position words that we learned in the last pictures, we can also just describe people first. So we can say something like, the man wearing the hat looks very happy. And if we 
want to talk about the man next to him, we could say the man on the left wearing the black t-shirt looks serious. So here we have combined the position and a description of the man and yeah I've put the man on the left wearing the black t-shirt looks serious. I don't know why he looks serious, maybe he's just like really concentrating on the music. Okay, so uh, I think that's also enough for this photo. So let's take a look at some general rules and just revise or remember what we've learned so far. Okay, so let's see if you can remember. So if we're looking at this photo and we want to talk about this area over here in red, then what could we say? And the answer is on the right. And remember to have a look at the preposition. So we say on the right. What if we wanted to talk about this area closer to the edge? Do you remember what we could say? So it's on the far right. Um, so obviously both of these work on the other side. We can say on the left or on the far left. And then if we want to talk about this um, area in the corner, do you know what we could say for this one? So it would be in the top right. So um, same as before, the opposite would be uh, in the top left or in the bottom left or in the bottom right for the other corners. So how about this area here? What could we say for that? So we would say in the center. Once again, looking at the preposition in the center. Okay, and uh, what about this area here in red now? We would say at the bottom. Again, at, looking at the preposition. And if we were all the way um, down here, just this small edge, we would say uh, at the very bottom. So as I pointed out before, we say um, on the far right, but we say at the very bottom and at the very top. Okay, so that's the general positions, but now let's um, have a look at uh, two more words that we looked at today, or two more phrases. So we've got this picture of this woman here looking out at some trees. And if we wanted to talk about her, so not about what she's looking at, but just about her, do you remember what position we could use, uh, what phrase we could use to talk about her position? We would say in the foreground. Okay, so she is standing in the foreground. And if we wanted to talk about the rest of the picture, so like what she is looking at, the trees in the sky, we would say in the background. So in the background, there is a forest and we can see the sky. So that was the positions of the photo. And then when you want to talk about things happening in the photo, remember we often use there is for single things like there is a dog or for plural things, there are some trees, there are some people, or we can say, we can see a dog, we can see some trees. And remember for things are ha that are happening in the photo, we use present continuous. So we would say, the dog is running, the woman is wearing a coat, uh, the children are playing or something like that. And when you want to describe people, you can point out how they look or things they are wearing. So you could say uh, the man wearing a hat, or you could say the tall man, or you could say the short child, and then you can talk about what they're doing. So like the tall man is wearing a hat and drinking a coffee or something like that. So. Like I said earlier, this can be a bit difficult, but uh, don't worry, I'm sure with some practice you'll soon be very good at it. 
and it can be an important skill just to help you describe things better in English and also it can come up in uh, quite a lot of speaking exams where you need to explain a photo. Okay, so keep up your studies. If you like this video, don't forget to like. Also, uh, please leave a comment. You can tell me which phrases you thought were useful or new to you or the ones you knew already. Or if you have any questions, then please put them down there as well and I will try to answer all of them. Um, if it's your first time here, don't forget to subscribe. Everybody share with your friends and I'll see you all back here next time. Thank you.